Hey guys, welcome back, Lacey here. Uh, today is like 90 degrees. It's so summer-like right now. It's 90 degrees and 30 degrees in the evening. I don't even know how that even happens, but it does. Um, but today I decided that we're just going to go around getting some stuff done because I mean, Today is just the day of just doing stuff. So we're gonna be doers in this video and we're just gonna take you around with us and I don't know, get stuff done. I got some strawberry plants that I'm just eager to put into the ground. Love you, bub. And uh, strawberry plants, maybe some garlic because that was supposed to be in there. What? Oh, you need my help? <laughs> One second. <laughs> Good job, good job. Yeah. Awesome. I did poop and pee, Mom. You did good. Thank you. Um, when you're needed, you're needed, right? Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna get some garlic and strawberries planted just because I put it off long enough and I'm kind of eager to get those strawberries in the ground. We're gonna go get some kidding pins built because, I mean, they should be kidding very, very soon, within probably the next week or two, but I just wanna get it done because I'm a procrastinator and that is terrible when it comes to having babies. So <laughs> we're gonna get that done and whatever else comes up on the agenda, we're gonna get that done too. Maybe, hopefully, if there's enough time in the day, but anyway, let's get outside and let's get going. Kids over here. Kids over here. When it's nice, we just play outside all day long. <gasps> you do. You happy? You happy? Oh, diorama playing. Yep. Amelia's got her cats. Hello, man. Sister's grabbing. Wow. See, watch. Ella's learning it too. <laughs> I love you. Michael's. Michael's. You gotta have some muscles to do it. I did. This big one did it. Adeline, can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah. Let me help you. Dirty. Oh my. Well, that took longer than expected, but now we can get on with strawberries, garlic, and gardening. Right, Ella? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Ezekiel, will you help me carry my strawberry plants to the garden? Yeah. You want to? You want to carry this one? And Mama will carry the big one? Yeah. Can you get it? Yeah? yeah. Wow. All right. Go to my garden, all right? You want to put them around right here. The tag on strawberries are like full sun, but does that actually mean like Oklahoma full sun? Because I feel like they might get burnt up. I don't know. This is my first time for strawberries, uh, but the tag says full sun. My friend Larry, he came over and said, hey, um, this might be a good idea to put them here that probably wouldn't bother them. And if it does, I could just put like a shade cloth or something to help give them a little bit of shade, just depending on if they are um, getting too hot. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on them. I misplaced my shovel to dig these strawberries with. I don't know where it's at. None of my kids actually could answer me when I asked them about it just a second ago. Uh, so they came back with this. <laughs> this is a chisel for wood. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this. They use it all the time for, to dig holes with. And they do a pretty nice job at digging all these holes around here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be using this. We'll see how, <gasps> ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Dirt is awesome. You know, whenever you uh, see it, everybody's dirt, uh, pictures of like healthy looking dirt, and you're just like, ooh, I want that. <laughs> I got some, woohoo! It actually looks like that this year. It's, it's a work in progress, I think, always. 
That's not bad. That worked really good. Okay, cool. And then after this, we'll water it really good. You know, gardening to me is really therapeutic. It just takes your mind off of things and you're just able to come outside and just, I don't know, it just always does me good whenever I come outside and get my hands dirty and stab things, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but, ooh, Lacey, that kind of sounds frightening. Uh, no, but honestly, it does me really good. Gardening is just really therapeutic for my soul. Um, do what? I got this chisel, buddy. Thanks for finding that. Can I do it, Mom? Can I do it? You want to put it in there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. I do love those strawberries. You do love strawberries, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to put some dirt around that. We're going to put this hay. Oh, I see it. Zeke, you <laughs> helped plant a strawberry. Yeah. Is that the one you're going to eat when it turns red? Yeah. Yeah. I said blue. Blue? Yeah. Strawberries aren't blue. What are you talking about, man? No, they're red. Yeah, they're red. Not blue. No, not blue. This is officially the family strawberry bed. Okay? All right. <laughs> I'm going to try to maximize this bed and put my garlic interplanting all throughout here and see how that goes this year. So I'm pretty sure that I don't even need my shovel anymore. I'm just going to put this thing with all my gardening stuff. Maybe the kids will stay out of it. I don't know, but this is not made for gardening and it came in handy today. <laughs> All right, um, what next? I don't know where I'm gonna put these pine berries at. I don't really wanna intermix them with my strawberries right here. Uh, this is my March bed where I'm gonna put all my lettuces, uh, my carrots, my radishes, kind of doing that in this bed. And that bed over there, I haven't decided. All right, let's go make some kidding pins real quick because that needs to be done. <laughs> Y'all still doing all right? She's eating the cat. What? Oh. She's it I think she's. I think she's having fun with it. Probably. I should. I was like, <laughs> and I said it. I said it. Catch me. Look at there. I think it's gonna Ezekiel, rain today. Ezekiel has been working hard, guys. What? Uh oh. The wind's up. The wind is picking up. Stay okay. inside, everybody. Excuse you. Just take Ella Jo inside. Let's go. I don't know what just happened, but I was glancing over there um, at the horizon and like all you could see was this hazy stuff. And I'm like, what is that? So I came up to the front porch and then all of a sudden this big Augusta wind came, obviously. Yeah, now we have things just strewn across the yard and that's unfortunate. So I gotta get my plants. Whew. A wind block right here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm taking those in. I was going to go get our kidding pins ready for the goats, but I cannot do that right now. It is so windy. I'm on this uh, south side of the house, and I cannot wrestle those sheds. Uh, we use those, uh, I call them chemical containers, but we cut a hole out of them for our goats to use as a shed, and I am not wrestling that against the wind. Oklahoma weather. You just never know what's going to happen. You never know. <laughs> My hair <laughs> looks amazing. Come on, bub. Now that we're safely inside, we can maybe do some things inside. I know I need to plant another variety of tomato. Um, and I don't think I have to up pot anything yet. I'll go check and see and then go check on our incubator. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. So welcome, welcome to my safe seed starting zone. Whoo, that was really hard to say. 
safe seed starting zone. Yeah, it's in my workout room. Um, workout room, that just sounded funny. <laughs> anyway, I've got some tomatoes. I got some broccoli cauliflower going, some flowers, some lavender, some peppers and peppers and peppers, peppers and peppers and peppers. I got a lot of peppers. Um, today, I am actually going to be growing some pink brandy wine tomatoes. I can actually go to the store and buy some of these, but I was at a chicken auction this last weekend and they were selling some seeds as well. And these guys are off-grid organics and they're actually in the county next to us. And I was thinking, you know what? I can buy all the seeds I want to from a store, but if I can get something local, I will buy local. So I'm gonna plant some of these today. And actually those ladies that were at that booth were just so sweet and so kind, answered all my questions because I had plenty of them. But um, they were just really kind and just go check them out on Facebook, Off Grid Organics. And uh, so I'm gonna get these planted. I like to use egg cartons. And then I just plop these little pellets in there. I usually don't use these pellets, but I just thought I'd use them this year, I guess. They're actually like little discs and you just sit them in some water and they will puff up. So I mentioned that we went to a chicken auction earlier this last week and we didn't buy any chickens at the chicken auction, but Eli spent his own money in buying some baby chicks. <laughs> All girls Easter eggers. Yeah. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty cute. Yeah. And not only that, but we are hatching two incubators full of chickens. So. <laughs> It's pretty cute too and fluffy. It's so fluffy. So this one's supposed to be hatching out tomorrow and this one's supposed to be hatching out in four or five days. So pretty cool. Yeah. We got chickens everywhere. Yeah, we have, it should be a chicken farm. I don't know, love your little eggs. They're already puffed up. So I just walked from one end to my house and back. That's why I kind of like these now. Um, I do have a bag of dirt. <laughs> I bought a bag of dirt. <laughs> But uh, I'm kind of digging these little pellets. Um, they work really well. Look at that. Normally, I have uh, toothpicks for these guys, so then the flower, so the plants don't hit the plastic. But I am all out of toothpicks, so this is just saran wrap wrapped over it, and I just set it underneath my light. So that's done planted some tomatoes. What, that took like five minutes. <laughs> all right, so I didn't get everything done on my list. That's all right, that's okay. When you see debris going across your yard, you just say no. That's just wisdom right there. You just say no. <laughs> Save it for another day and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not even sad about that. Um, I got everything else done. I didn't know that pine berries were gonna be so debatable on where I was gonna plant them. I'm a very decisive, indecisive person. And so uh, I will think of a place, they'll get planted somewhere, don't worry, but I just don't know where yet. Um, anyway, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the little dinner bell to let you know that we have another video coming up and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.